So one of the biggest complaints I've seen about Monsterverse is players saying that the game is so laggy. And there's actually a lot of reasons as to why this could be. And in today's video, I'm going to show you three very simple steps that you guys can do to help, you know, optimize your Monsterverse's performance on your device in under two minutes. Now, keep in mind that if you're using like an iPhone 3 or the iPad first gen or like a Chromebook that you got from school, inevitably Roblox will be laggy, but that's any Roblox game. So do keep that in mind. And keep in mind too that some of these methods only work for computer, but some of them can also be applied to mobile devices. So the first one is when you launch Roblox, you're going to right click on it. And this is for Windows. I don't know if it's different on Mac, but you're going to right click on the application and select run as administrator. This basically tells your computer prioritize running this application as smoothly as possible. So it will basically stop a bunch of background stuff on your computer and will help you run Roblox and other games on Roblox smoother than before. This just tells your computer put more effort in running this application rather than the background stuff. And this can significantly help with lag. The second thing is turning down the graphics when you get into Roblox, this specifically for mobile. I know everybody wants to have a really cute, sparkly, fun game with tons of effects, but unfortunately some devices just aren't meant to run stuff like that and that's why they're cheaper than other devices. Example, I have a $4,000 gaming PC, you know? At the end of the day, not everybody can buy a $4,000 gaming PC and I get that, but unfortunately if you do buy a cheaper device, you do have to keep in mind that you won't necessarily be able to run every single game at the fullest graphics possible, which I know sucks, but that's just the reality. So what I recommend is that if you're on a mobile device, turn down your graphics halfway or even all the way down and see the difference in performance. And on top of that, in Monsterverse, when you dress up a character, you actually have the option to turn off different toggles and you can turn off the toggle where there are sparkles or effects on the item. I would highly recommend doing that personally when I try playing Monsterverse on my iPad and I have a new iPad, so keep that in mind. But I noticed as soon as I turned down like the sparkles or the effects of my clothing, I immediately saw a difference in my iPad's performance. So you can also try that as a method for helping with lag. Now, finally, um, there's a lot of people who I see who play Roblox and then have Discord open or Spotify open, and I understand you probably want to do that, but if you're having issues with lag, I would really recommend not having other applications that are really resource heavy running in your computer. One of the biggest ones that a lot of people don't realize is Google Chrome uses a ton of your computer to run, which is crazy because it's just a search engine. So if you really need a search engine open while you're using you know, Roblox, I would recommend downloading Opera GX. I'm not sponsored by them. This is what I use, and I find it puts a lot less strain on my computer, especially when I'm running really heavy applications. And on top of that, with the same wavelength, if you have a Wi-Fi router in your house and your computer isn't just like plugged into like the wall, what I was just doing is sitting directly beside the Wi-Fi router or just trying to be pretty close to it. So that way you'll have the best connection possible because sometimes lag isn't just because of like the game being big. It's actually because your Wi-Fi is really bad, which I've been there. I've, I've had bad Wi-Fi and I pay a mint to have the best Wi-Fi I can get in my area. So if you guys do want to have your game run faster and maybe it's not an issue with your computer and you actually have a really good gaming laptop, I would suggest sitting as close to the router as you possibly can. And for those of you that don't know, the Wi-Fi router is just a little box that's typically kind of by a computer in your house that is like the center of where the Wi-Fi in your home comes from. But anyways, those are the three tips that I had to help reduce lag in Monsterverse. Keep in mind that some devices like an iPhone 3 or the first gen Chrome laptop, they just aren't meant to run games regardless of how big they are on that computer because that's just not what they're meant for. Some, you know, laptops like a Chrome laptop is typically just used for school and Google Docs and Word and stuff like that. So I do think that some of the feedback that Monsterverse is getting with the lag is a little bit unwarranted because you can't expect your fossil of a laptop to run a game with a ton of detail flawlessly. But if you do have a device and you want Monsterverse to run a little bit better for you, you can use these three methods to help with that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions about Monsterverse in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the beta? What was your favorite part about it? And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!